so that would have been really a sight. Anyway, back to you, Kari, I think. Thank you, Mum and Dad, and thank you, Farrell Cohen, for sharing a video with us, even though you couldn't be with us today. Now, something that you should know about Aiden is that even though he is quite small, he is really vicious and violent. From a young age, he was already proving himself by bullying his older siblings. Although to be fair, me and Jay did bully him back. When Aiden was only a few years old, he had a little habit of hitting me on the head with heavy objects. When I wasn't looking, whether it was his thick plastic drink bottle or a wooden cup from his playset kitchen, he always seemed to find a way to sneak up on me. I am honestly surprised that I can remember him hitting me on the head. Realistically, it is entirely possible that there was some instances where he did wink me on the head and I have lost my memory about them. But nonetheless, I still love him. Now for the moment you have all been waiting for, the man of the night. And before I invite him up, I do have a couple of words about Aiden, even though he's already here, he's very eager. Aiden, you are truly an amazing younger brother and I love spending time with you, playing video games with you for hours and baking with you. Although this has been a tough year with all the lockdowns, I am incredibly thankful. I'm incredibly thankful that we were able to come together with friends and family and celebrate all of your hard work this year. And now you need to savor these few days that you have, being the focus and attention of our parents, because very soon I will resort to being the favorite child and will regain all of the attention that you have stolen from me. So make the most of being the favorite child for this one night, because I plan on reclaiming my title. Here he is, Man of the Night, Aiden Boyle. Thank you everyone for coming and helping me celebrate my bar mitzvah. I've been practicing my bar mitzvah for a bit over a year, and it's taken me all this time to get there. At the start, I barely even knew what a bar mitzvah meant, but now I understand that it includes a lot of responsibility to be a Jewish adult. Thank you, Rabbi Link, for pushing me to learn my Torah and Aliyah, and thank you for, to Rabbi Yonatan and Rabbi Gabby for teaching me all the prayers and all, the, all about the Torah throughout the year. To the boys sitting there, thank you for all the memories and all the fun times we've had together over the years. I hope we can keep our friendships for a long time. Nana and Dee, I appreciate all the times you've been together. All the Mondays after school, you would pick me up and buy me food and footy cards. I enjoy seeing you on Shabbat and really appreciate all the support you've given me. Nana and Papa, I love it when I go to your house after school on Wednesdays and spend time with you. I love when you make ice cream and biscuits with, and I look forward to the times you come over because during the lockdowns, we couldn't see each other very much. Jay. You're a pain, but you're still one of my best friends. I enjoy watching sports with you and enjoy playing sports with you. I have noticed that recently you haven't wanted to play me in sports. Clearly I'm better. Clearly you're scared. And I'm never gonna relinquish the T-Ball Cup. Thank you for being such a good brother. Kari, we spent a lot, a long time together over the years. You can be very annoying, but most of the time you are very nice to me. I like to play Call of Duty with you because I beat you just about every single time. Thanks for being such a great sister to me. Mum, you are the best mum that I could have hoped for. Ever since the day I was born, you always made sure that I've got plenty of food and snacks to eat. I'm sorry that I didn't always eat all of them. You always look after me and treat me like I'm the most important child. You give me guidance and great support and you teach me such good values. There is no more I could ask for. Sometimes I leave things behind wherever I go, like clothes, drink bottles, shoes, hats. Even after you've reminded me a hundred times, don't forget. I'm trying to do better from now on. Thank you for guiding me through my bummits for experience. Dad, you are the best and funniest dad. 
I love watching live sports with you all the time, including American football, college football, NBA, college basketball, footy, rugby, and sometimes soccer. You always take me to live sports like footy and watch the Mighty Blues always win, or to the NRL and watch the Melbourne Storm. You also watch me participate in sports and sometimes you manage the teams. I especially have to thank you for choosing Carlton as my football team, which has brought me sorrow and despair for my entire life. <laughs> but success is just around the corner. I enjoy spending time with you. You can sometimes be funny, but most of your jokes are busts. Most importantly, you always encourage me to do the best with everything I do. Thank you for being the best dad ever. Thanks everyone for helping me celebrate and I hope you have a great night.